Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. What happened between Whitney Bates and her parents? Bringing up Bates star Whitney Bates has been thriving in life. The 30-year-old mom recently celebrated the huge milestone of the Bates sisters' boutique. But despite her success, many people are curious about why her parents were never by her side to cheer. Until recently, some Redditors discussed what may have happened between them. Keep reading to see the discussion. Bringing up Bates, how's Whitney Bates today? Whitney has been sharing positive content about her family on social media. The Bringing Up Bates star recently took to Instagram to share a clip of her husband and kids setting up their trampoline. Many were impressed that their trampoline has a slight attachment where the kids can get off. Whitney also fulfilled her kids' dreams of going to Dollywood theme park this year. It couldn't have been more perfect, and we made memories I'll never forget, she added. But despite all her smiles, many fans are still curious about her status with her parents. What happened between Whitney and her parents? Some Redditors discussed what happened between Whitney and her biological parents, James Perkins and Lynn Perkins. Little is known about them aside from the fact that they weren't at Whitney and Zach's vow renewal. According to the poster, the Bringing Up Bates star only mentioned making bad decisions and how she's basically cut off from her family. Some said that whatever happened back then wasn't her fault as she was only a child. Others also mentioned some articles claiming that Whitney Bates suffered from physical abuse from her biological parents. It was also said that she no longer talks to her adoptive parents. On a BUB binge of the weddings and just watched Whitney and Zach's vow renewal, of course she talks about her parents and her making bad decisions and how she basically cut off her family. But why exactly did she do this and what happened? Does anyone know? I'm sure some sleuth knows lol. Whatever it was it wasn't a she our fault. She was a child. The amount of absolute sobbing she does in that episode is painful. I don't think we'll ever know what happened especially now since her bio dad died few years ago. I swear I heard it's because she became a bit wild during her teenage years and left home. Bringing up Bates, Whitney Bates' difficult past with biological parents. Some Reddit users from a different thread have already discussed some alleged details about what happened between Whitney and her biological parents. According to some, she's been estranged from her parents since the age of 13 and was sent to a foster family. Gail and Kelly Jo encouraged a Bringing Up Bates star to reconcile with her mom and dad, even with the allegations that they physically abused her. It was also reported that her foster parents, Johnny Owens and Lydia Owens, disappeared from the picture due to their church being against adoption. Whitney Bates sat on the edge of her bed, her hands clasped tightly in her lap, her eyes cast down to the floor. The room around her was silent, save for the soft hum of the air conditioner and the occasional creak of the floorboards beneath her feet. She could feel the weight of the conversation still lingering in the air, heavy and unresolved. It had started like any other family dinner. The table had been set with care, the smell of her mother's famous meatloaf wafting through the house. But as they sat down to eat, tensions began to rise, simmering just beneath the surface like a pot of water on the verge of boiling over. Whitney's relationship with her parents had always been complicated. They were loving and supportive in their own way, but there had always been an underlying sense of expectation, a pressure for her to live up to their standards and fulfill their dreams for her future. As they passed around the mashed potatoes and gravy, her father had cleared his throat, breaking the uneasy silence that had settled over the table. We need to talk, he had said, his voice stern, but tinged with a hint of sadness. Whitney had felt her stomach drop, a sinking feeling of dread pooling in the pit of her stomach. She had known that this conversation was coming, could sense it in the way her parents had been tiptoeing around her for weeks 
their smiles strained and their words carefully chosen. And then it had come like a sudden clap of thunder on a clear summer's day. Tearing through the fragile facade of normalcy, they had all been desperately trying to maintain. Her parents had expressed their disappointment, their disapproval of the path she had chosen for herself. They had always envisioned her going to college, pursuing a degree in a respectable field, and settling down with a stable job and a family of her own. But Whitney had other plans, dreams that didn't quite align with the picture-perfect image her parents had painted for her. She had tried to explain to make them understand why she had made the choices she had. But they hadn't listened, hadn't even tried to see things from her perspective. Instead, they had dismissed her dreams as foolish fantasies, the misguided ambitions of a wayward child who didn't know any better. And in that moment, sitting at the dinner table with her parents' disappointed stares burning into her skin, Whitney had felt something inside of her snap. All the years of trying to live up to their expectations, of pretending to be someone she wasn't, had finally taken their toll. She had stood up abruptly, her chair scraping loudly against the hardwood floor, and without a word, she had stormed out of the room, her heart pounding in her chest and tears stinging at the corners of her eyes.